Okay guys, so I just did a travel essential summertime thingy. I don't know what I called the video. It's The link is going to be down below, but I'm going to do the tools. I recently just went on a trip, so that's why I'm filming these. But these are just all the tools that I brought. This is just for a weekend, but honestly, these would probably be good for me for a week. Um, now two weeks, I'm probably going to have to bring some more. I just have it in this Victoria's Secret pouch that I got couple of years ago, I don't even, a long time ago, not a couple years ago. So let's go ahead and get started. Four eye brushes. No, this isn't even going to be in order. So these are just all of my favorite brushes. These are the ones that I really am recommending to you guys, so that's why I'm making this video. Otherwise, it would just be super pointless. These are the ones that I trust and I'm always using even when I'm at home. So this is my Flirt Cosmetics um, Fluffy Eyeshadow Brush. It's just great for blending. I always use this one for skin tone shades, but that's a really good brush. If you find it at Kohl's, grab it. Um, this is my e.l.f. Spoolie, and I absolutely love it. It's only a dollar. Was this one or two? It's something. I think it was a dollar. And it's great. It works like any other spoolie I've ever had. I lost my Anastasia Beverly Hills, which was my favorite brush because it was just double-ended. But this is seriously better. Okay. Any brush by Sony Kashuk, because the next few are by Sony Kashuk. This is another fluffy blending brush. So if you can't buy, find the ones by Flirt, then buy the Sony Kashuk ones. These are not as dense as that one, and they're not as big, but ugh, great. Use it for the crease. This one is a fluffy shading brush. I love it. I use this for my outer corner. And then this is just a packing brush, but it's more, it's not like a concealer brush. I don't know what the names of these are for. But I use this for, like, on my lower lash line. I just use the tip of it. And Sony Kashuk brushes are amazing. This is just a travel size eyelash curler, but it's the only one that I have currently. If you don't want to spend the money on this, then go and buy the e.l.f. eyelash curler for $1 or $2, whatever it is. But this one has been working well. I haven't been to the store, so I haven't bought the e.l.f. one, but this is working just fine, so I don't see the purpose to buy the e.l.f. one right now since I have this. So this works really well if you're looking for a travel size. This works well, but if you don't really care if it's travel size or not, the e.l.f. one is just as good. Um, another little tool I like to bring is these Ardell brow trimmer shaver things, facial trimming little tools. They're great to have, and I like these ones better than any of the other ones I've ever tried. This one that's shaped like this just works so much better, and they come in a pack of three. Um, these brushes, I have a review for it. Link is down below. There's a set of five, but this one has been my all-time favorite. Recently, it's just a flat top kabuki brush. It's literally a dupe for Sigma. Um, if you thought this was going to be a Sigma, it's not. It's a another brand, but it's literally life. It's so good, and it works awesome. For highlighting or blush, um, I use this stippling brush. This one is from Flirt, but any stipple brush will work. People like the one by e.l.f., and Sony Kashuk has great ones, too. Um, I just have this one, so there's no need for me to have another right now. Um, for contouring, I've been using this angle contour brush. This is by Coastal Scents. These are not the softest brush, but they haven't, they don't shed and they blend color well. So it's not like they're crap. They're pretty cheap. Um, for a whole set, they're pretty cheap. And also, if you clean it with a goat's milk, brush cleanser, they're going to become softer. So this one has become softer since cleaning. Just so you guys know, since cleaning it with that. This brush you must get. If I can find it, I'll link it down below because this one came in a set. Everything that I have came in a set um, by Sony Kashuk. It's just this dense brush and I love to set my foundation with it. Whether it's all over or just under the eye, it's perfect. So I absolutely love this. This is a Coastal Sense eyeliner brush or angled eyeliner brush. I use it for the brows. It works really, really well. I really recommend this one because it's synthetic, especially if you're going to use like wax or something. This works really well. And then this is a brush by Coastal Scents as well. And this is what I use to just blend everything out if I have an issue. This blends everything out really, really well, and it kind of works with my kabuki when I'm traveling. So I really do recommend the Coastal Scents brushes. Just be sure to buy a goat's milk cleanser so that they become softer. And that's everything that I travel with as far as brushes. Those are everything that I would recommend to you, to you guys to go and buy these brands and those kinds of brushes. Um, but I really am recommending the brands. Also, what I like to use when I'm traveling is this Always Off 
makeup cloths. We have a pack of three at Walmart, and they are a dupe for the $20 makeup eraser, which is a little bit larger, but it's not worth $20. I would probably pay six for that thing. But anyways, guys, I hope that's, I hope you're having a good day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.